Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Drathomus Gaming. I'm your host, Drathomus. Today we're going to be taking a look at the first dungeon in Terra. It is the secret base, really unoriginal name, but, you know, it's whatever. This place, it's a bunch of crazy demon dudes stabbing people, doing a bunch of crazy stuff. I don't even know, but I just, it was a 55 minute video. I just chopped it down to the two bosses, which include this crazy dude or chick. I can't remember what it was, but we killed him, and something else comes out of it, and we killed that too. But this is a five-man dungeon, running it with four people because we're cool, and also because we couldn't find another person to do it, which kind of puts a hinder on things. But it's a pretty interesting dungeon. We apparently are locked behind some door and it's being controlled by this big golem guy with big rocky faces and stuff anyway playing a sorcerer I shoot fireballs out of my face throw icy shit out of my hands it, it's typical mage stuff in an MMO don't worry about it but Terra it's a Korean RPG that I believe is out in Korea, but it's being developed by InMass Entertainment. It's being westernized. It's going to come out in April 28th, something like that. And this is just the beta for it. And yeah. So rocking out and killing this boss. It's pretty crazy. It's have not played an MMO like this before where the boss is constantly running around the room just punching us in the face and making our life pretty crappy and just get stomped on right there so I got group composition right now is a lancer it's the dude with the big lance who stabs the boss in the ankles and keeps his attention away from the squishy people like me wearing wet toilet papers armor and it's pretty much an entire skill shot game like it's not like wow where you hit tab you got a guy selected and you hit one until you win you actually have to aim and if your crosshair is off the target you're obviously not gonna hit I would say it's closest to like global agenda that free to play third person shooter I guess but we are killing the first golem dude. Our healer got completely obliterated, annihilated. And he's dead. I'm about to die. Our tank is not taking any damage because he's perfectly timing his blocks when the boss attacks. And honestly, don't know how we get through this. I guess we're just a bunch of badasses. N nothing? Okay, anyway. Just stabbing the dude with fireballs, frostbolts, stuff like that. There's a combo system in the game that I honestly cannot see my own class using very much. I'm drinking potions like a boss. But there's a combo system and I, I don't know if it increases damage. It doesn't reset cooldowns because I can't use my abilities. But you chain together skills I guess there's something cool that you get out of it I still have yet to figure that out but the first dungeon is the most intense I've ever seen in the first dungeon in any MMO I've played way too many to count and this one just by far takes the cake see we're already like 20 minutes in and this dude is whooping our ass left and right. He's a big rock guy and he's pissed off at everybody because we stole his cookies. That's our objective. St steal his cookies. And he's pissed. He's fallen over. He doesn't even know what to do. But Terra, it's gonna be a subscription based MMO. 15 bucks a month, no big deal. If that breaks the bank, obviously you shouldn't be playing MMOs. Or buying games whatever but yeah I'm looking forward to it leveling is actually pretty interesting hard to say for any other MMO where every guy that you kill is like 
a fully new encounter where you have to actually dodge attacks and block and shoot them and stuff. But yeah, so first boss goes down. Pretty cool cutscene. This is a pretty dang long dungeon. I'm probably just saying that because we four manned it instead of having five people total. But there's a bunch of AoE rooms. Like a bunch of little tiny crazy dudes we have to kill. And etc. Typical dungeon stuff. You have trash mobs, you have bosses. Here we got this big... I don't even know what to call it. I can't remember names. But he looks like a big freaking rhino. Well, not a rhino, rhino that horns. Well, I guess he's a big guy. He's got loot. We want the loot. We've killed pretty much everything. This is the final guy. We had to full clear the dungeon. And all that stuff's out of the way. Now we gotta... He, he's pissed off. Because we took the cookies from the other dude, and then he wants those cookies back, but we can't allow that because they're our cookies. And even though we spent a long time working hard to get those cookies, he wants them back. And this time he's back with a vengeance. It's not the same dude, he can't be back with a vengeance, so I don't know what I'm talking about. It, they got like a ridiculous amount of health and they just take a crap ton of damage which for some reason they do not like to die really quickly but we got our lancer poking them in the butt think there's a slayer stabbing him in the butt I'm throwing fireballs in his face and we got the, the last dude who heals people healing us in the face so boss is really difficult it's all about avoiding gotta get out of the way if not it'll run you through and you'll be having a sad day laying on the ground wallowing in your own self-pity or something of the likes I don't know what you guys do when you die in games that's what I do I just cry and cry and usually I just rage quit I mean uh, stay and fight because I can do better yeah so this part kind of got me pissed off because randomly loot's popping up. I don't know what to do. And the boss gets pissed off at me. He's like, rub, rub, rub. I want my cookies. I'm going to do a 180 spin. Yeah. He's punching the tank in the face. And I'm like, stop doing that. He's so throwing fireballs and ice balls in his face. Make him shut the hell up. And obviously he's not listening. So, whatever. Now, the boss isn't that difficult. Well, kind of contradictory. If you get smacked in the face, yeah, it's going to be difficult. But they do, they may, mainly do cleaves by just swiping their hands out in front of them like that. This, sometimes he like grabs onto his horns and just runs forward. If there's nobody there, he's like, well, crap, there goes my best ability. But if you get hit by it, yeah, your, your day is pretty crap. And what I like about this game is there is still the chance to stun bosses. Like you just saw him fall flat on his face. I think that was from our Lancer just poking him so much. And he's like, I just need a minute. Hold on, guys. So he jumps. You can stun him. You can do whatever you want to him. The stun chance is really low, I think. I don't know. I really don't know the cause. But if you get smacked in the face with those jumpy majiggers, then you're usually screwed. And have have not fought any other bosses in any other dungeons, and I assume we can't go anywhere but up. And I think this is a, a hell of a good introduction if you just started playing the game. The dungeon level is like 20, which you can get in a day or so, or just one day if you're really devoted and have no life. But it's pretty cool. If, if just just putting it bluntly, the the character progression is pretty difficult to understand. There's like 500 bajillion stats, like playing Dungeons and Dragons all over again. You're like, ooh, I rolled a 9. I failed a physical check or whatever. I don't know. I never played Dungeons and Dragons, so don't get on to me about it. You'd be like, ooh, well, I rolled 39 Warlock. I don't care. Okay, okay, I, I guess I do. That does sound kind of cool. But whatever. 
I got a level 23 sorcerer. Suck it. Jim. Sorry if your name's Jim and you're watching the video. Did not mean to offend you. Please do not take it out on me. But in the meantime, throwing spells, doing a crazy dance, because that's how I roll. I don't really like to kill stuff in the middle of fighting. I just like to freaking dance and have fun. And that's all, that, that's all the game's about, having fun. If you're not having fun, why play the game? Really. If you're sitting there like, oh man, you should have done... You should have moved to the left, but you moved to the right. Now we're all dead and burning. You'd be like, well, the fire's not my problem. He's like, yeah, it is. And then you'll be like, shut the hell up, Jim. And he'll be like, aww. Swipe or no swiping. And something of the sort. Now, when this boss gets down to like 5% health, he pulls out some crazy dude who starts throwing balls at you. Shit. I don't quite understand. But it's pretty interesting, to say the most. Say the least. Something of like that, yeah. But we killed the boss. Actually, just kidding, he got back up. We're killing this dude. Now he's dead. And now we go back to killing the boss. And we go, Wacha, ha, wacha, ha, wacha. And we're throwing our spells at him. And he's like, ah, oh, I'm the girl. And then he dies. And we're like, heck yes, we got the loot. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first dungeon in Terra secret base. The first two bosses, or the only two bosses, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate the video, comment, and subscribe. And hope you guys have a fantabulous night.